we do bring in two fine, fine individuals to give us some Point Park volleyball analysis. We've got Josh Eisenberg, Mrs. Stakowski, ladies, gentlemen, how are we today? Very Wonderful. Good, Wonderful. That's yes, fantastic. Absolutely. Now, they did have a lot of work to do here. They got the win against Houghton, which was very good quality win. They really dominated the game, as you saw in those highlights. Absolutely. But the work is not done. Let's stick with Houghton for right now. How do you think this team fared? I think Houghton did pretty well. The biggest thing that I noticed for Houghton was they were able to block the spikes that Megan Lehman's had. So it had to bring up other players to come and fill that void to finish off the points. And you got that from Oberacker, who was able to finish around the net. You got that, as you saw, from um, Z-Tech as well. A lot of girls were able to step up four or five straight times. Lehman's goes for the spike, and there's two girls up in the net, blocked it, were able to keep Houghton somewhat in the game. As you can tell, the Pioneers just kind of extended the lead with the 15th to 20th point, were able to extend it and really gain control of the game early. Now you, we've seen this team go on streaks of 15, 16 straight games. They actually or set a new record for victories as a Point Park school with a whole 26 right now, which is a big game. They got a game tonight against Ursuline. How do you do? You think this team right now is hitting their stride? Do you think they're hitting the peak of what they're going to be playing right at the right time? Really? I think that they knew it was coming down to the wire, and they definitely wanted to make the playoffs. They knew they have a great team, tons of talent on this team. And there's no reason they shouldn't be in the playoffs. So I think they are hitting their stride, but I also think that we haven't seen the best of them yet. Ashley Z-Tech has just gotten back in these more recent games. She's being great. She's aggressive, getting the points, getting the kills. She's just doing awesome. And I think that as she develops more and gets back into the groove of things, that they'll be even better than they are right now. Now, before we talk, get into the playoffs, I want to ask you, Josh, you were there against, mm -hmm. against Houghton. Ashley Zetek, like Moza said, is just getting back here. She's really just getting into her form. How is she helping this Pioneer Ball Club? I think the biggest thing is she gets a big presence, like I said, at the net. And I think the biggest thing right now for this team is to insert Z-Tech. You see Z-Tech uh, and Gendron come in together. A good one-two punch. You have somebody who can kind of run around a little bit as in Gendron. And Z-Tech's always right there. So you have Z-Tech right now kind of playing that outside. She's getting the great outside spikes. I think right now that Z-Tech has she had a little bit of rust, but she has to come back, and she's going to come back strong, and it's going to be a good opportunity for her. The biggest thing that I saw with her is she was a little out of space every once in a while. I just kind of have to uh, knock off the rust right there, Josh. Well, they're in sixth place right now. They got Cedarville, Northwestern Ohio in front of them. They got two games left. Ursuline and Roberts Wesley and the top six do go to the AMC playoffs. We'll have to see where this shapes out. We'll let you know next week if this team is a solid playoff team or if they're going to be on the outside looking in. Ladies and gentlemen.